All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am Is There No One Else? And in today's video, uh, we are going to talk about New World. Now, last week, I put out a video where at the end of it, I asked the community to provide input on new games that I should try out. One of the more popular ones mentioned that was also on discount for $20 was New World. I've been following New World since before their initial launch and have always wanted to try it. However, now with a new computer that can actually run it and the Brimstone Sands update, which has brought forward a lot of quality of life improvements, I figured now was as good a time as any to give New World a fair try and provide some input. Now before I dive into the game, I wanted to provide a few caveats. I only have 19 hours in the game, so my opinion in this game will be from a new player experience only. Some of my pros or cons will be subject to change as I get through the game and play it more, but this is my unfiltered opinion after the first week of playing New World. I also have played no PvP. In other MMOs I've played in the past, I've been of the opinion that getting to endgame and getting gear will give you a better opinion on the PvP aspect of a game. I know a big portion of the New World experience is PvP, and I am excited to get there and do a video on it, that just will not be this video. I've also made a transition from being a controller pleb to a mouse and keyboard chad, a switch that I decided to save for New World and its lower button input by MMO standards. I know that me going into PvP in a game I've never played, while also trying to input abilities from a layout I've never really used, would lead to some woefully bad PvP on my end, and a, probably a bad opinion. I thought those sorts of things would be better discussed when I am more adept at mouse and keyboard, and more adept at the game. For me, just leveling has been enough to figure out the keybinds I want and to enable some muscle memory for combat. With that being said, let's dive into the review. Normally, when I try a new game, I dive deep into YouTube looking up builds, mechanics of game, and overall reviews. I try to absorb as much information as possible before I even play the game so that I have a rudimentary idea for how to build my, out my character, what I should be working towards, and what I should look out for as I am playing the game. Basically, when it comes to researching games, I am him. For New World, I did absolutely none of these things. I wanted to provide input from someone that just picks up the game and plays it with no knowledge of the world, the in-game mechanics, etc. so I could provide an honest take as to what the game is and what it is not. Starting off, the game was rather intuit intuitive. A basic tutorial on combat with a few quests in the starter area gave me a good start on some of the crafting and quest pickups in the game. Questing is the main form of leveling in New World. Venturing from area to area and doing the main and off quests is the best way to progress, at least initially. Now, without looking at builds on YouTube, I decided to try every weapon in the game to get a feel for how they function and how they're used. From talking to New World players, the weapons overall have their own unique impact and effect. They each have their own distinct feel, sacrificing speed for power, or vice versa. I've been told by friends and players on stream that a lot of the weapons are relatively pretty well balanced. Not perfectly, of course, but it's in a solid spot. How these weapons function is also good. They feel good to use, which is really important for me in combat when playing a game. I want the weapons I've used to feel like they have effect, and New World has accomplished that. There are no classes in New World. You jump in, and where the diversity comes through is with the gear and gear traits you wear, as well as the weapons and weapon skills you select. This makes it easy as a player to switch things around, to switch out different builds, to try different weapons. This part is important in my opinion when bringing up the grind in New World. It's no secret that the initial grinding in New World was an absolute bitch. <laughs> I had friends lamenting 60 plus hours uh, of gameplay and not even close to max level. This sort of grind without the ability to get involved in endgame PvP disincentivized people from playing and getting that far. Brimstone Sands has drastically diminished this grind. Now, this grind may seem like quite a bit, but without multiple classes in the game, it's a lot less characters to level. For me, when I played the Elder Scrolls Online, I wanted one of each class leveled, different weapon skill lines, ability skill lines, and the skill points required to fill out all the passives, meaning running around from world to world to pick up and level out all these skill points, doing dungeons for skill points. On top of that, it was leveling mount speed and stamina. All these things add up to a lot of hours to get to an endgame character, which in New World is drastically less. Because it's just one character, you only have to worry about the weapon leveling and the gear grind. I'm at just under 20 hours played and I'm at level 33. Keep in mind, this is just as a casual player without the knowledge or effort to level as quickly as possible. Just a dude playing a game he hasn't played, trying to see if he enjoys it. And enjoy it I have so far. 
As far as the storyline goes, I heard horror stories that the entire quest line is boring, not worth listening to, and that, coupled with the long time to get to endgame PvP, it deterred a lot of my friends from playing this game any further. I went into New World expecting the storyline to be completely uninteresting, and so from that perspective, and from that point of view, I've been pleasantly surprised so far. New World won't win Game of the Year for their storyline like Elden Ring probably will, but I've enjoyed it. They're not great, but they're not bad. After talking to a few friends, this is an improvement that has come to the Brimstone Sands DLC that has been a very nice quality of life change. As far as combat goes, I like it quite a bit. The combat feels deliberate. Some people will say slow due to the cooldowns on weapons, but with six skills being used across two weapon slots, I find myself activating skills more often than I'm light attacking or heavy attacking in the game. It's not as spammy as other MMOs I've played, where you have a few skills you constantly hit in order to deal damage or heal or tank. Potions are on cooldown, and at least starting out, you cannot infinitely roll, dodge, or block. You have to use these defensive capabilities at the correct time. The cadence in combat feels in a lot of ways like Elden Ring, combat-wise. Not the perfect comparison, but those were my initial thoughts when trying it. Utilizing in-game movement and nuance to your offense and defensive capabilities. Basically what I'm saying is that I'm enjoying it so far. The zones are hard enough for me to feel challenged while doing quests, knowing if I pull a few too many mobs I will get wrecked and sent back to the respawn point. New World in my opinion has really good NPC leveling relative to the player level, uh, which is valuable for questing. I don't want to be bored out of my mind running from point to point as I'm leveling my character, and New World is definitely not boring for me at the lower levels. Now, on to the actual world itself. The entire New World experience as far as being in and engaging in the New World is so, so good. The amount of detail the team put into harvesting materials is extremely well done. I've never been a player that enjoys collecting materials for hours on end. I get what I need for PvP and move on with my day. But this is so good that even I feel like it's worth mentioning. Chopping down trees has very real sounds to it. And even when you're in the world, you can hear other people chopping down trees or mining different ore in the world. These sounds will echo in caves or in forests, and it's truly a level of detail that I don't experience much in other games. Details matter to me at this point in my gaming experience. It's a level of polish and effort that isn't always seen in games, so when it does happen it needs to be pointed out. And yeah, if in general, if a game is putting this much effort into details like this, it probably means that other aspects of the game are pretty polished as well. This isn't always true, but that's just my perspective. Now with all these pros in mind, what are the cons? Honestly, after only playing the game for 19 hours, I really do not have many yet. The only thing I would say is that sometimes the world almost feels too big and traveling from quest to quest, especially starting out, takes a lot of time. Most of the quests have a good time elapsed between them, allowing you to be immersed in the world with resources, NPCs to fight and encounter along the way. But there are some instances where you spend a lot of time traveling, going from one new zone to an, to an unknown zone. It's not a big deal, but I feel like it's worth mentioning. Also, I want to say that I really want to get to level 60, so to get to endgame PvP and endgame gear. So that could also lead to some of this impatience that I'm talking about. Maybe it's a long aspect for me, just because I want to get there and I want to actually like PvP in the game. But maybe for you, you will not have that same experience and you'll enjoy it quite a bit. It does... It, it has its pros as much as its cons because you do experience the world. You do find things along the way, and it, it is a lot of fun in that regard. It's just sometimes it's like, okay, can, it, can I get to the next quest, please? But that's just my opinion. So, the TLDR of this game is that the world is great. The combat mechanics are fun, to me, where the skill input has meaning. The NPCs are challenging relative to the level you're at, and the storyline is solid. If you've been on the fence deciding whether or not you should try New World, or if you should get back into New World, I would say that it's quite a bit of fun. 
I'll be leveling to end game PvP and playing a minimum of 20 hours of PvP as well so that I can provide my opinion on the on the on those aspects of the game also. If you want to see that video in the future or new world content like it, please consider subscribing to the channel for future updates. Also, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please leave a like so that I can be blessed by the algorithm gods. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.